excused for uh, attending the faculty standing committee. Um, Chief Brex, Chief of Staff Gracie is also excused for the faculty committee. Um, but I think they will, yeah, they'll be back. Um, Treasurer Carter. Here. <laughs> Carla Materia Graves. Here. Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Chair Roy. Here. Communications Director Boba. They do not provide an excuse, but they said earlier on uh, Discord that they weren't feeling the best. So we'll check in after the meeting to see. Um, graphic Design Coordinator Brazil. I did not. I did not receive any uh, excusal from them. I'm gonna check in after the meeting. Uh, President Pro Tem Corporation Chair. Um, Senator Bernard. Senator Tudor is uh, excused. Um, Senator Mahan. Here. Senator Wagenhofer is excused for, for attending the faculty standing committee. Senator Rial. There, we do not have an excuse for them. Senator Tate. Is it Senator, yeah, Senator Tate is excused. They uh, are working on a movie set, I believe. Um, Senator Woodyard, Senator Harris, Senator Bartley, Senator Samoa has the fact that is uh, excused for the faculty standing committee. Senator Brown is also excused for the same reason. Um, Senator Adams, Here. Senator Rango also has a faculty standing committee that they're attending. Um, Senator Pearson, Senator McLaughlin, Senator McHugh. Um, we do not have an excuse on Senator McHugh. He, he's going to be on his way. All right. Um, Senator Atkins is, and uh, all of our Senator at large just had a class, but I will read them out just to make sure if any of them are here. Senator at large Bruno, Senator at large Roche, Senator at large Frazier, Senator at large Frontier. They all have class, which is a regular excuse. We will now move into the approval of the minutes. Uh, the minutes were sent out uh, yesterday with the agenda. Um, I have a uh, Excusal of corrections of the minutes to make. Uh, my uh, name was spelled incorrectly on uh, the second page here, as you will see. Um, so I propose that those uh, corrections be made. Do anyone else? Does anyone else have any corrections to the minutes? If uh, no one else has any corrections to the minutes, other than those corrections, the minutes are approved. Uh, we now move to the approval of the agenda, uh, which was also sent out yesterday. Are there any corrections to the agenda? Um, there are no corrections to the agenda. Does anyone have anything for the first open floor? Chief Staff Grayson. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a quick five minute recess to allow Chief of Staff Gracie to uh, configure things to be able to take minutes. All right, so we'll take a, a quick five minute recess. Let's do I reconvene this meeting of the legislative body at 3.22 p.m. Uh, where we left off is uh, during open, is open floor, so uh, does anyone have anything for the first open floor? Okay. President of Portland Board of Education here. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty frequently just so we can like collaborate more since she is new to the university um, and she can definitely help me out a lot too so it's not like that. Current Secretary Foxhall is now present. Um, do you have any? You got it. Yeah. Uh, Treasurer Carter, do you have any report? Oh yeah. Fall two allocations have been made and are ready to be shared and voted upon by all of you. So stay tuned. Thank you, Treasurer Carter. Um, Communications Bo Director Boga is now present. Um, do you have any report? Um, neither is graphic design coordinator Fazel. Um, they don't have any report. I believe on the agenda they put uh, t shirts and polo uh, designs, but uh, unfortunately they're not here to report on the status of those. Um, President Pro Toy for Racinger, do you have anything to report? Um, yeah, I was going to ask, like, Senator, uh, what do you are? What do you are? Um, so 
more of the communications uh, committee, uh, the spotlights, we're doing both for students and for SGN. So if you could, by the end of the month, just send a video of you like saying your name, your major, and like, why you joined SGN. be like 15 seconds long, but just put them in the Discord. And it'll just post it on the Instagram. Thank you. Um, any other reports? Um, there are no other reports of the senators. We will move to old business. There is no old business. So we will move to new business. Uh, first on new business is uh, fall two uh, allocations. Let me pull this up for you. Let me see. $13,307.45, which is no good because we only have $10,000 to allocate, so we get to make mega cuts. But we got our total down to $9,103.77, which gives us a little bit of wiggle room for appeals and emergency funding, which is nice and comfy and warm and cozy. Um, most groups, their requests were met or slightly altered. Oh, I don't have the same coloring on that one as I do on my screen, but the little dark green splotches are the splotches where everything went as they planned, and the light green ones mean we either changed their quantities around, asked them to purchase some things from their holding account, made some adjustments so that we could stay within our means for this funding period. Um, I anticipate we'll get a few appeals, so we might see that grand total number inch up a little bit. Um, we can always hope that there won't be any emergency funding instances, but there probably will be, so that will probably contribute to our grand total as well. But we're in a good spot for now. This is a nice, comfy place to be. Uh, we were able to definitely review each request. Whether or not it was granted is uh, dependent on what the request contained, but the Finance Committee and I stayed an extra hour to make sure we got everything nailed down, so we're feeling good and ready to go for fall two. So if anyone would be so kind as to lend us a motion to approve this year fall two allocation, that'd be great. What, what, what was the total on the check prior? Total is included on there. Total is $9,103.77. That gives us, uh, so $9,103.77, which means our wiggle room at the moment is $896.23. So that 890, so more like 900, will go towards appeals and emergency funding for fall two. Along with any rollover that we can recollect from fall one, which I'll be doing later this week. All right, I have, uh, thank you, Chair. All right, I kindly put the, uh, oh, thank you. the, the <laughs> dollar amount on the, uh, the screen here. So if anyone would like to make a motion to approve, oh, Dean DSD. Can I ask real quick, what was the, what, how much did we allocate for term one or group, whatever it's called? How much, like, this 9,000 will then bring our total up to what for allocations for the semester, please? For the semester, so fall one, we got to $9,290.58, and that was after emergency funding, so that is all, meaning we have $700, $709.42 rolling over that we can use for appeals and emergency funding as it comes in, <laughs> and I anticipate it will. <laughs> um, those two together. And this would just be for our allocations. Um, this doesn't include our internal spending, but I do have that on a different page if you're curious. So far, we're at eighteen thousand three hundred ninety-four dollars and thirty-five cents. Um, if anyone would like to make a motion to approve uh, the fall two allocations, the requested amount on the screen, such a motion will be accepted at this time. Uh, Senator Adams, make a motion to approve nine thousand one hundred three dollars and seventy-seven cents for fall two allocations. 
in a second. Treasure the very, very seconds. Um, is there any discussion? Um, send reactions. Yeah, I just saw that there were some zeros. That's there. right. I was curious about what happened to it. Uh, well, we can go one by one. SHRA, their request was for a like collaborative event. There are three groups participating in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and their request was horrible. They didn't give us any information and we were about to deny it. Fortunately, there was a member of one of the other groups present at the meeting who was able to say, that's actually for this collective group event that we're doing. I'm sorry they didn't fill the request out very well, so we moved it on to Pioneer Career Association's request and granted them the funds since they had a, a complete comprehensive request. Uh, where are the other zeros at? Society for Intelligence and National Security. Again, not enough information provided. You can tell us that you want $200 worth of Chinese food, but that's not enough. We need to know a little bit more. Um, CTC, they were wanting to do a giveaway event. Uh, the budget priority guidelines that we operate off of have giveaways as sort of a low priority function when it comes to making cuts. So that was just one that had to go when it came down to it. Um, and the Nightshade Guild submitted a file to me that I could not really open, and then we figured out how to open it when we were three hours deep in the Finance Committee meeting, and I had already denied their request on point sync, reached out to the treasurer individually via their personal email and their school email, and they hadn't gotten back to us in the proper form. So I asked the Finance Committee if they wanted to consider their request, and they said no. I did? Dance. Dance oh, they don't have zero. Oh. Theirs just got cut a bit. Thank you, uh, Treasurer Carter. Is there uh, any further discussion um, before we take it to a vote? No, let's see. Do you if there's no further discussion, we will take it to a vote. Before we take it to a vote, I'd like to remind any SGA members that have a vested interest in any one of these clubs, uh, for example, if you're the president of our treasurer, any of these clubs, it is highly recommended that you abstain yourself. While I cannot require you to vote one way or the other, I would highly recommend that you abstain, as not doing such would be a violation of the Constitution. Um, that's all I have to say on that. Um, so, all those in favor of approving uh, $9,103.77 for fall two funding student organizations, please raise your hand. Any abstentions? Senator Mahan, do you abstain? Yeah. Okay. Um, the motion passes uh, 9 to 0 with three abstentions. We will now move to. Uh, Resolution 1016-2023, the Adobe uh, Suites Resolution. Um, I have this up here, it was sent to me as a PDF, so it went automatically. Um, Parliamentarians, would you like to uh, further discuss the resolution? Okay. Um, well, this is our uh, Resolution from to uh, address uh, Adobe Suites access here at Point Park University. Um, uh, I will read the resolution and then provide further context after I read the resolution. Whereas students of different schools and majors at Point Park University do not have access to Adobe Cloud applications from their own devices, and whereas accessibility to required materials is only available on campus leaves non-traditional students the burden of fulfilling their responsibilities as a student at the expense of their time, money, and safety. And whereas the Student Government Association of Point Park University finds that this circumstance regarding Adobe Cloud Access discriminatory, discriminatory towards non-traditional students, a group that the university has start stated to attempt, attempt to accommodate the recent COVID. And whereas it is unsafe to travel to campus at unreasonable hours, 
unrealistic for students to have enough time throughout the day, and unjust to hold the expectation of the student to pay up to $30 a month for at-home access. Therefore, be it resolved that to ensure equitable access to Adobe Cloud, Point Park University provides full home access to, to all Adobe Cloud applications, and resolve that students, regardless of major, school, or residence, are supplied the full resource. Now, before um, we motion and uh, move in, actually, I'll just, uh, yeah. Um, before we motion move into discussion, I'd first like to state that uh, nothing's free, okay? Um, we all know that as back to life. Um, access for this is gonna have to come from somewhere. They might raise a fee here or there, get rid of a service here or there. Um, so nothing's free, it doesn't, it, this doesn't come out of a vacuum. Um, it's not gonna be implemented tomorrow. Uh, this is mainly the opinion of the Student Government Association on uh, implementing this in, sometime in the near future. Um, with that said, uh, would anyone like to make a motion to approve resolution S-10-16-2023? Uh, Senator Pearson? Um, I make a motion to approve resolution S-10-16-2023. Is there a second? Um, Senator McLaughlin seconds. Um, is there any discussion? Um, President Pro Temp Organization here. This resolution gets, at least in my opinion, it gets Point Park University to the bargaining table so that we can uh, negotiate something to get access to Adobe Suites. Because let's be honest, forcing students to come here is discriminatory. Um, it, it really is to our community students. And uh, I believe that to be more of a fact rather than my opinion. That said, is there any other discussion? Uh, Senator McLaughlin. Uh, is there any, do we have any, like, I know you said it's very slowly, it's very slowly, like, whatever we can get it through. Do we have any sort of time frame in mind to sort of hold the school to or the schools that you made mention of? Um, they haven't made mention of anything because I don't think we've brought like, something formal like this to them. We've, we were in discussions with them about it last year, and nothing was done. The problem still persists. Um, I would roughly estimate it at about maybe a year from now, time that this implemented. Um, so yeah, Senator Peterson. Um, I just want to say the fact that we're at this point is absurd. This should be a given for our students here. So I hope that everybody agrees with that because I've seen it affects people that just live on campus and inconvenience the people that live on campus, campus, let alone the fact that we have so many commuter students, so many non-traditional students, students that are parents, students that cannot provide, like they don't have the time to come here and, and do their work on school computers. They need to have this access, so I hope we all Thank you. Dean Keys, I you have your hand raised. Yeah, I just wanted to give a historical context for those that may not know this. So. Prior to last year, during COVID, Adobe itself gave it free to all universities because they knew everybody was going inside. And so the company itself put it out there and said everybody can have it. Last year, the company stopped that. And so every university had to decide then, what do you do? Do you, uh, do you afford us? So one is that, the reason why students don't currently have is because students didn't have it prior to COVID. So it wasn't something that we, we gave to you and then took back. It was something that, that, that Adobe gave to the world and then took back. And not against them, they're allowed to do that by all means. So that's one thing, just to understand sort of where some of this, which is why last year this came up, because students had it the two years prior to. And then those juniors and seniors last year were like, wait, 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 wait. 
wait a minute, that kind of idea. And so that's where the initial part came in, just so that everybody understands that. The other thing is, and, and, tr and Trevor says it right, but, but I think it's important to understand, it, it's not that it's just that it's free. It's very expensive. This is not a cheap thing. Like we did a little bit of math, and if every student at this university purchased it on their own for the $30 a month, it's over a million dollars. Like it's an exorbitant amount of money. Not that universities are gonna pay a million dollars. We realize there are bundles that get, like the more universities that, that, that buy it, obviously they can bundle it and cheaper and all that. But some of those are part of why this is where it's at. One way or the other, I just, again, wanna make sure you all are aware, sort of where this came about and why, why it's being dealt with now. Thank you, Dean Whiskey. Uh, is there any further discussion um, on the resolution before we take it to a vote? Uh, if there is no further discussion, we will take it to a vote. All those in favor of approving resolution S 1016 2023, please raise your hand. All opposed? Any abstentions? Um, the motion passes. The motion passes uh, 10 to 1 and the resolution is approved. Okay, we'll now move to our next item of business, which is the at large, which is uh, another resolution. Um, this one um, I also wrote is uh, at large uh, senator resolution, uh, standing resolution, this is an act of uh, legislative body uh, and does not need to be a constitutional resolution as it is a civic act that will last this, this year and this year only. I will read the resolution now and uh, I will explain if there's anything to explain further. Um, whereas Article 3, Section 2, Paragraph 2 of the Constitution states, three at large senators may be appointed. This position may be filled by individuals that may not make the normal meeting time, but would still like, but would like to take part in SGA. And whereas Article 3, Section 2, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution states, the parameters of this position shall will be laid out by, on a case-by-case -case basis by a certain president, and whereas bylaw 211.11 states, the president may create up the three at-large positions within the legislative body, by a two-thirds majority vote in the legislative body, and whereas currently there are four at-large senators in the legislative body, therefore be it resolved the legislative body grants the president the ability and authority to uh, retain the ability to retain four senator at-large positions within the legislative body for the 2023-2024 academic year. So essentially, this is just granting Mark the ability to retain the four at-large senators that we already have, so that no one's in violation of the Constitution, um, so that uh, if we, I'll admit it, we, all, we made a mistake, we appointed too many at-large senators, um, people make mistakes, um, it happens, um, so we're trying to correct the mistake and uh, move from there, and a uh, simple act of the legislative body should easily correct this uh, mistake that has been made. Um, if anyone would like to make a motion to approve resolution 10-16-2023.1, such a motion will be accepted at this time. Uh, President Pro Tem for Um are, are we um, We'll be back after the discussion after the motion is motion is seconded. What motion is If you motion it, it helps bring it to discussion. President Pro Tem for all right, so moved. Is there a second? Um, Senator Woodyard seconds. Um, is there any discussion? I know you wanted to say yeah. a few things, President Pro Tem Borgensinger. Um, yeah, I saw, I just wanted to like, bring this up and I can push this a little bit separate than the voting on this because obviously we do have more now. Graduate students, 
association can never get to that number um, because we only have three. And also, I think the like the large senators, the people who can't make normal times, like someone like myself is a senator at large, I can't make the meetings. So I don't know if this is going to be here. Anyway, but I think we need it. Well, to answer your question about people like yourself, President Pro Temple of Base and Chair. Um, Senator of Arts position is also defined as those who do not pay the student activities fee. And as a graduate student, you do not pay the student activities fee. Right. Therefore, you you are elected as a Senator of Arts. So, President Pro Temple of Base. Um, yes, so like, and, and I understand, and uh, uh, it's something finish the sentence that you needed to finish, which you're 100% right, Trevor. The reality is if you all as a Senate don't agree with this and say, no, he messed up, he shouldn't have done this, then the last person appointed would be the first person removed. So that's what you have to take into consideration as you're, as you're making this decision. Thank but you. yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we're deciding today. Good or bad, that's what it is. Vote this week with someone at the table with, um, if they choose to. Um, that's um, Chief of Staff Gracie, would you like to give your opinion on, uh, that, on that? Uh, the fact that there is still so much debate going on, I think that we should table it because then, if we do table it, you can speak with monetary dreams and you can come up with whatever you want it to do to maybe create more at-large positions, more at-large positions, which then would bring in more people. I personally have not heard of any grad student in my five years here that have wanted to be a part of SGA, aside from you, which is cool, that's cool, but that's something, that is just something that we could do, in my opinion, right now, in my head, the best thing to do would be tabling it so there is more discussion on it during the next week's meeting. Uh, I saw Senator Atkins, you had your hand up. I was just going to say, if you already motioned to vote, uh, well, you, you can subsequent with a like, secondary motion to table within discussion uh, if you wanted to do that. Oh, no. Okay. But that, that's, that's just a general point of information for uh, everyone here. If, if that's what the legislative body wants to do, that's, that's 
Senator, Senator Woodyard. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out like what's the meaning for the cap for the senators at large. Like, I just don't understand why. Um, well, the position the position as defined here, other than the graduate student being a senator at large, would be mainly uh, people who do not make our 315 meeting time, chiefly resident educators who are required to meet at 315 on the uh, seventh floor of the student center. Um, so if they wanted to be a part of SGA or someone who also can't make our regular meeting time, they could still take part in committees and they just wouldn't be able to make it here. Um, the four that we currently have um, all have class at this time, but uh, they attend committee meetings. I've seen some of them attend committee meetings. And uh, this resolution would just temporarily solve the issue. Um, in the long run, after this year, it would go back to three. This is a simple act of the legislative body, and that's why it's a standing resolution, not a constitutional one. Um, so in 2024 and 2025, the cap would be at three, and we'd be, back, we'd be back to state square one, and hopefully we wouldn't appoint too many people. This is, like I said earlier, this is mainly so that we don't have to kick someone out of SGA. Um, this is mainly the reason why I brought this. Senator Mack. Who would be kicked out if we... Um, Dean Beastie said earlier that it would have been... No, I know, but who is that? It would be Senator... I think Senator at large... No, Senator Bartley is elected as a regular senator. They're not, so they're senator not, a, they're not a senator at large. Yeah. Yeah. Senator, would senator, senator would have been senator at large, Bruno. Bruno, yeah, Bruno. Bruno, yeah. My bad, my bad, I thought you were senator at large. My bad. Um, so is there any, any further discussion uh, before we take it to a vote, if we want to take it to a vote? All right, if there is no further discussion on this issue, we will take it to a vote. All those in favor. Senator Mahan. I guess this does fall under discussion. I motion to table this until next week. All right, motion to table has been introduced. Is there a second to table the motion? Senator Brown seconds. The motion is tabled for uh, further discussion. And Brad. Yeah, you have to vote on whether or not it's tabled. Oh, okay. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Brad. Hardly anyone is capable of this, so. Um, Senator Brown will second the motion. Um, okay, um, as Brad uh, stated just now, we need to vote on this uh, to table it. So, all those in favor of tabling the uh, aforementioned resolution, as table the resolution here, please raise your hand. If, if you're in favor of tabling the resolution, please raise your hand. All opposed? The motion fails 10-3, uh, and uh, the motion table is denied. Um, which brings us back to uh, the motion that we had previously on the table to approve the, the resolution. So all those in favor of approving the resolution, please raise your hand. All opposed? Uh, any abstentions? Senator Brown, do you abstain? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, the motion uh, passes uh, ten, to, 10 to nothing with two abstentions. Business, uh, SGA statement, parliamentarian rings. Would you like to further discuss the statement? I put it up here. Um, if you want to come up here, read it. Okay. Do you want to that? If you put it. Hi, guys. So, um, this event um, in the Middle East has really affected me and my family this week. Um, and I haven't heard anything from the university making any statements about it while a lot of other universities have. So it's really important to me that something is said 
um, I try to make this as not biased as possible, just acknowledging that something is happening. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't mean this to be political in any way. I don't think anything of what going, what's going on is political. I think it's just versus life and death um, for everyone. Um, that's all I'll say about it. Thank you, Parliamentarian Reams. Um, it's all right with you, Parliamentarian Reams. It would be okay if I read the statement aloud at the record. Um, I will now read the statement. So, statement. In light of tragic events occurring in the city of Israel, SGA supports, the su supports students and faculty affected. We condemn hate and violence of any kind and acknowledge the difficulties of continuous, continual continuing normalcy while witnessing barbaric actions. We also recognize students praying for the safety of family and friends or mourning losses. To those less informed, please know the situation is alarming and devastating. Supporting your students and fellow classmates during this time is particularly vital. There are no words to suffice this in this circumstance. It's suffice in this circumstance. We stress the importance of trying rather than remaining silent, but supporting those affected and encourage unity as we carry each other forward. Um, that was the statement. Um, now, some people had uh, came to me and said that they would wish to discuss it. But first, before we discuss anything, we would need to take this to a, we would need to motion this um, for a vote. So, if anyone would like to motion this statement to be voted on, and this statement will be an official statement of the Student Government Association. Um, if voted on and approved. Um, so would anyone like to make a motion? Senator Adams? I'd like to make a motion to approve. All right, is there a second? Senator Brown seconds. Um, now that we have a motion in the second, we can now open up for discussion. Is there any discussion on the uh, state? Senator Pearson. Um, first of all, I think that my point about the statement that you're making is so many people's names with SGA to the statement. Not that I disagree with the the general like the generalness of it. Like obviously like the demonstrating violence I think is really important to us as an organization, as an association. But I think that there's just not enough people here to discuss this, to really give a full opinion of everybody. Is there any other discussion? Uh, would you like to continue? I saw you. Yeah, I also again. just wanted to add that um, I think that regardless of what way we change this, what way it's intended to be put out, I do think we need to put out a statement. Um, I think it's really important. I think we should also attach um, at least like the result online or something, some type of um, resource for the students that are dealing with this, so they don't just see it. See these people like, oh, we we we're here to hear you, but we don't give you any resource for somebody that will listen to you. And I think that we need to attach that to the statement. Um, okay, thank you, um, Senator um, McLaughlin. I saw your hand up first. Um, yeah. So uh, a lot of uh, but I, I do think, um, regardless of uh, regardless of the statement itself, I think it's one of those. I think it's something that it's the official statement of the SGA. Um, it might be worth tabling, and so more uh, super of the uh, government bodies present, just with the, the way that it worked out with the uh, faculty meetings. Um, and then the only uh, addendum I would need to add is uh, like a reference to a oh, reference to Gaza. Not that I think this was, not that I think this was like intentional, like not mentioning of it, but I think that like there could be. I think that. It's a situation where it could be viewed as intentionally. It could be viewed by people as us not acknowledging the lives, the lives lost in Gaza as well. Um, and I think, I think it's one of those. I think it's a situation where, like, with, when our position is that the, the, like, the loss of life and the, the pain to our suffering is is horrific. Um, I think it. I think would add to it to. To maybe say like the effects occurring in the state of Israel and the Gaza Strip, just to just so it, it, it's also reaching out to those whose family may may be affected because they may live in Palestine or maybe live in Gaza. Um, those are those are actually my major 
about major possible. Senator Van Ann, I know you had your hand up for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, so I, I have a lot of things to say about this, and I just want to preface it all by saying if I get a little bit fired up, that's just because this is an issue that I'm very passionate about. I, I will say that uh, try and keep it civil. Um, and I, I, I will keep it civil. I, I'm, ju I'm, just, okay. I'm just giving an overall reminder, Senator Van Ann. All right? You said you might get fired up, so I just want to <laughs> I just, I just want to remind everyone that we need to be civil in every single I understand. Um, so uh, I would like to echo what Senator Blackwell said. First of all, um, I think that it is really important to be acknowledged the Palestinian suffering that is happening here. Um, in the past, I believe it was in the past 20 years, this statistic was measured by like something like 96% of the casualties, both in terms of deaths and in injuries, in conflicts between Israel and Palestine. Uh, have been Palestinian casualties. Um, and I think it's important to recognize that the Gaza Strip is recognized internationally as Palestinian territory. Uh, and the Israeli government has not been respectful of that. Uh, I also think that seeing as this is like a very like charged issue, um, it's important to name the, the actors behind it and like understand what the terms all mean. Um, so first and foremost, uh, let's get this one out of the way, obviously. Hamas is a terrorist organization. I think that goes without saying. They launched a terrorist attack against the civilians. Um, they are also a political party which came to power in 2006. Uh, they then canceled all future elections in Gaza, which um, you know half of Gaza's population are currently children. Uh, the reason I bring all of that up is to say the overwhelming majority of people in Palestine did not vote for Hamas. Uh, Hamas seized power and they consolidated it without the consent of the people. Um, I also think it's important to understand that the Likud party in Israel, which is led by Benjamin Netanyahu, who is their prime minister, who was removed for corruption and then re-elected again as prime minister, uh, they actively aided Hamas in taking power in 2006. Uh, that's not my speculation. Many Israeli politicians have like spoken publicly about it. This was as part of a divide and conquer strategy to remove the Fatah party, which was previously in power in Palestine, which was a secular party that supported a two-state solution. Sir, uh, I, I just want to say, at least on this statement, we're focusing on acknowledging how people were affected here. And so I, like, I understand adding, um, like the acknowledgement of Gaza, the Gaza Strip as well, but I don't want any of this to be political. Right, no, so to be clear, I'm not saying that these are all things I want added to be thing. I am simply saying that I think that it is important um, as we consider this that we all have some understanding of the events that led up to it so that we can like more, like have a, what's the word, like have a more like nuanced Take of like what's going on. Comprehensive understanding. Understanding. Comprehensive understanding. Yeah. Yes, I think I think that's right. Um, yeah. Uh, so currently, Gaza is now under siege. Uh, the Israeli government has uh, cut off all the electricity, all the food, and the water, and the fuel. Um, siege warfare is a war crime according to the United Nations. Uh, the the Israeli defense minister referred to Gazans as human animals. Um, so, just all of this to say, uh, I would like to propose the following amendments. Um, e. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I would just like to, just needed to, in light of the tragic events occurring in Israel and Gaza, SGA supports students and faculty affected. We condemn the terrorist actions of Hamas and the Likud party and acknowledge the difficulties of normalcy while witnessing barbaric actions. We also recognize students praying for safety of family and friends and mourning losses. To those less informed, please know that the situation is a display of the worst of humanity by Hamas and the Kuwait government at the expense of both Israeli and Palestinian civilians. Uh, supporting your students and fellow classmates during this time is particularly vital. Uh, there are no words to suffice in this circumstance. We stress the importance of supporting those who are affected the importance of separating the actions of the government from their citizens, and the importance of universal empathy as we carry each other forward. Thank you. Uh, is, that, is that everything you have? 
Yeah. Um, before I move to parliamentarian meetings, I would like to say that it would reference the state of Israel here. We are merely talking about the people living inside the state of Israel. And in no way, shape, or form do I believe, and parliamentarian meetings will clarify this um, if she would like to, that uh, the government that we are supporting, the Likud Party's government in Gaza, and furthermore, I would like to go on the record to say that as an American Jew, even I do not support the Likud Party in, uh, in uh, Israel or the Israeli government's actions. I would just like to go on the record and say that um, so there's no misconceptions about what we're voting on here. Parliamentarian groups. Um, okay, so first of all, I think when, we're, when we can't even mention government, I think that can make it political. Um, and not everyone may agree with that, and it also can make people uncomfortable based on where they stand. Not to say that I agree 100% with the Israeli government all the time, but I might not feel comfortable reading that when something like this is going on, if that makes sense. And then something else is that there's still news coming out of what's really going on, and so I think making this, like for example, CNN reported that Hamas took out the electricity in Israel that was supporting Gaza. So we don't, like I don't know if what you read is right, I don't know if what I read is right, but to state something as if we know factually what's going on would not be right, um, for lack of better words. So yeah, I, I would prefer that we would keep it on supporting civilians um, and just like not mentioning governments. We can condemn Hamas, I think we all agree on that. Um, I, I definitely do. Um, Senator Woodyard, I have some of your hand up. I want to get some of the to speak. I was trying to go along with what you were saying and like you seem very educated on this topic and as someone who's not very educated, I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting uh, like specific details or side of things right or wrong, I don't, I don't know. So I wouldn't feel comfortable uh, asking something, saying different things as fact, whatever. I don't know, and I'm maybe talking for other people in the room that haven't kept up with it like you have. So um, I think it might even be better for us to stay out of the conversation if it gets to the point of uh, not knowing. I'd rather stay out of it than say something that not all of us agree on. Um, I noticed that we're standing with the inclusion chair board, his hand is up, um, would you like to say something? Yeah, um, just because I know I'm not super educated on this either, but Dr. Robert Ross is having a public lecture on the, this is like directly his message in his social justice studies class, but he said, I will be giving a public lecture on the current war in Palestine slash Israel to the university community this Wednesday at 2.40 in room 2. Well, University Center, um, just going over this, I thought I'd share that. Thank you, I Senator Pearson, I saw you up first. Um, could you send that in? Yeah, I'm going to Um, also, um, I think that, like, throughout the conversation, I think that, like, personally for me, the things that I think are important to be added to this are the recognition of Gaza and also a resource for, for students, which I know I already said, but I think that those are the things that are crucial that be added to this statement before we approve to put it out. Um, I also still think that we should have stayed from the vote today and maybe table this for um, for next week. Even though I do understand the reason the reason is probably to get a to get a statement out very quickly. I just think that we either need another way to have, have a fuller conversation about this including all, or like more people within our, within our association. And I think it's complicated because it came at a really bad time for us to do this, but I do think that tabling this could be, could be the best idea. Senator Atkins. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say, like, I agree with just naming just Israel and adding Gaza and keeping any other parties out of it. So I, I think the general peace consensus is probably the best route. I don't want to like name anybody. Uh, but also, I feel like it might be weird if we wait a week, and then, I don't know, it's like a tricky, it's like a two weeks after kind of thing. But of course, there's still going to be issues going on in a week, so 
not sure. Uh, I, I saw you had to end it for a while while I was staying in Paris. Yeah, um, I think um, only speaking on Israel is disrespectful. So if well, we are. I just don't think that going off what she said, if God is not in our going to say what she would I think we're all. We are not discounting Gaza in any way, shape, or form. We are uh, just saying that we have solidarity for the people. And to assume such is uh, very offensive. I think going forward, at least on my end, as I'm talking about it, I agree with adding Gaza and adding resources, and I think we can be on the same page there. I don't think there's any, it's not necessary to say that over and over again, but we all agree with that. Uh, Rest in Protect what we speak here. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
because we're talking about people educating themselves and having resources to educate themselves. And we're talking about not wanting to push those necessarily, but this is just something that's happening within our school. So I think that just saying, hey, this is a thing that's happening if we want to reach out and want to educate and us promoting that is important. Uh, Senator Atkins. Yeah, I, I think, um, I mean, it says we can dedicate violence of any kind, which I think that's pretty general, but makes it all work. And then if, I also agree that, I, I disagree at first that we should vote on it now, but I feel like we should just get it out there now and add Gaza, get it over with, just because the, uh, the fact that some people can't be here today is just one of those things with like a legislative That wasn't problem. planned, all right? I don't want anyone Well, so that, that just that happens. Was, that was not planned. Okay. I don't, um, want, I don't want that assumption to be made. Nope, that's okay. But um, I, I think that regardless, I, I feel like everyone can read that if we like add that Gaza part and it'd be pretty chill. I don't think. Yeah. Like it sounds supportive. I don't know. It seems like the consensus here, um, sir. Before I call you, sir, the consensus here seems that we want to table this motion. In order to table a motion, this motion needs to make a subsequent motion to table. So. Parliamentary News has their hand up. I to say roll it, I'm going to let them speak on. on Sorry, it. I just want to say if we're going to vote on it now, I guess we're voting it on it with the consensus that we have um, Gaza. Gaza and the resource, like mental health resources. If we want to amend it or table it, so motions need to be made new sense. President Pro Tem. Just real quick, I think this is more discussion in case we are just looking to amend those things. I think we should also add in the lecture if we don't want to have a separate like post like which I think would be both like, hey, there's a lecture happening on campus. I think like that should be something. Senator Peterson. Um, I just wanted to say that even though obviously I brought up tabling this, um, I totally understand why we wouldn't, and I also, and I'm still willing to vote on this today, um, if that's everybody's general consensus. I understand that, like you said, this is this is a time sensitive thing, so if we want to vote on this today. I we do not have to table it. Like that's not, if that's not a general consensus, I would like go of that, and we can we can move forward. So there's definitely inclusion. I did send the screenshot from like my campus about the lecture into the Discord. First thing you're doing doing is voting on whether or not to add 
the additions that we just talked about. Whether you add them or not, you still have to then vote on whether or not to approve this to go out to the community on behalf of SGA. So you, so you, could, you could not add the other stuff and vote to put it forward. You could add to vote all the stuff in and still vote to say, even with all that in, we don't want to put this forward. So one thing doesn't, doesn't mean the other. The first thing you're doing is whether or not to add the Gaza Strip and the mental health um, re resources to this specific statement right now. That's what's on the table right this minute. All right, uh, sorry for the discussion. All right, um, all those in favor of amending the statement to acknowledge the Gaza Strip and mental health resources and all the other, and the lecture to the statement, um, which is on the screen, please raise your hand. Again, this is to amend what was here. We still have to vote on approval, so this is just the to amend. Um, all votes. Any abstentions? Okay. Um, motion passes 12 to 0 with one abstention, and the amendment is uh, approved. Um, now move to uh, back to our discussion on uh, uh, approval. So now uh, those will be added by parliamentary means uh, in the near future. Probably at this meeting, whenever she gets a chance. Um, but those amendments are officially added to the motion. Uh, Brad, do you have your hand up? No. Okay. Just, just I'll make sure it's up. It's up. Okay. Kind of, kind of looks like you had your hand. Um, uh, so we have a uh, amended motion. Um, is there any further discussion on this motion now that it is amended? There's no further discussion. Um, would anyone like to? Uh, let me know. Uh, all those we'll take it to a vote. All those in favor of approving the now amended motion um, for the statement, please raise your hand. Any abstentions? Uh, the motion passes uh, 12 to 1, and the statement is approved. Um, I apologize for things getting heated there. Um, Brad? No, uh, I just want to say that I think that that was, even though it was a tough discussion, I think it was a really good critical discussion. And I would challenge you all to have those types of discussions about all of the things that you bring up. Like, like those questions and that seeking and that trying to understand all of the around all of the corners is what you need to do all the time. So thank you for what you just did. Like, keep it up. And, and with I that, I have to add to everything you've done today. Everything you've done today. Every discussion you've had, you've challenged, you've thought about it. You didn't just vote. And that's so important. So these are not easy conversations, but they're critical. Absolutely. Talk amongst yourselves, challenge each other. That's what you're supposed to be doing. That is what this is about. So thank you for doing that. Um, as I was saying, I want to apologize for things getting heated. Uh, at times, uh, I wasn't at my uh, best uh, while serving you guys, and it got a little heated. Uh, for that, I apologize. And it's 100% on myself. Uh, I take full responsibility for that. Um, I'll try to act professionally in the future. Um, again, this is a very community issue, especially for both me, me and Amy. Um, very close issue to both of us. So, um, with that said, we will now move to our second open floor. Um, does anyone have anything for the second open floor? I have a senator in hand. Also want to say that like I'm, I'm sorry if anything that I brought up was like uncomfortable to listen to. I felt that the context was important so that everyone could understand where I was coming from. Um, but I just like sorry if I made anyone uncomfortable with the description of what was going on. Right, thank you, uh, sir. And I would like to say that it was it was this overall very uh, comprehensive. Going into this, I expected uh, some people to be like 
critical or without knowing anything, without having knowledge. And I'm very glad that everyone here had knowledge that was critical and had knowledge of, of things. Um, anything else for, for a second? Uh, if there's nothing else for the second open floor, we'll move to announcements. Um, do you have something for open floor announcements? Oh, for announcements. Um, Seth, Seth here has his first basketball game tonight at 9. Oh, yeah. So go to it. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll write in this That's right good. in the right. <laughs> yeah, it's, in the <laughs> it's in the basketball court, the fifth floor. So okay. go to it. Support Seth. <laughs> um, I'd like to make That's an announcement. Um, this has nothing to do with the prior call that we just had. I would have made this announcement either way. Um, but uh, Shalom is holding a vigil for peace. It's just an overall thing for peace. It doesn't matter who you support or whatnot. It's, it's just peace for everyone. Our mission statement is peace and tolerance for everybody. You can read our Constitution and say that. Like I said, this has nothing to do with the aforementioned uh, statement. This was planned before this meeting even started. Um, so that has nothing to do with our uh, thing. But that's for Wednesday. Uh, so, you know. Well, so far. So far. Unless we don't have we enough. Have, we have. Should we use the materials? We need the materials. As long as the materials come, then it'll be Wednesday. If not, it'll be next Monday. Yeah. yeah. Amy helped me set up the uh, uh, it was it was mainly her idea, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take credit for that. You should take credit for that was your idea. Um but yeah, is there any other announcements? Uh President Lobo. You all decided to debate without me? <laughs> what the hell? That's an you know. Um no, I just wanna say, um, I guess from what I heard you guys had a good discussion, so that's that's really good, right? I mean we're not here just to raise our hand and say yes, definitely. And what the DC said on Brad's, I mean, that's, that's super important. That's super critical. Cool. Um, just one announcement. Um, I sent that email out over the weekend on uh, Sunday. Um, for faculty committees, if you didn't go, don't worry. Um, uh, I don't think all the chairs got back to all the people that I put in. So I'll fix that. Um, as for uh, the Ohio Student Government Summit. So if you haven't heard about this yet, Dean Palo has requested to pay for eight students to go, senators, to go to the Ohio Student Government Summit. This is a two-day summit uh, in the University of Akron, and it allows, um, uh, it's, a, it's a big conference where you meet with other student governments, and you can collaborate, talk, and I think Chatham University went last year, they might be going again this year. Um, but either way, if you're interested, please let me know. I know the people who've already let me know, so they're good. Um, but if you are, please do. I'm going to try and cut it in half if I can, like four is that kind of four senators if possible. It's more of an educational thing, though. Like, so if you're like a senior or an upperclassman, I, I, I would rather you not go, I'm going to be honest, because we don't have that many slots, and I want the people who are new here to be able to be educated and learn a lot of things going into the, to the future years. But you're still looking to apply, so who knows? Maybe for three, only three people say yes. So please let me know. You can DM me, email me, tell me right now. And I will put your name down, and that is it. Thank you, President Bobo. Um, I'll also be attending that uh, summit, right? Yeah. Yeah, just make, make sure you have me on this. I have plenty to forget, so yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you, President Bobo. Is there any other announcements? Any birthdays, or events, or anything like that? Uh, Not, a birthday. Not a birthday or bar mitzvah, but um, I was just. For this, I'm moving at the HR, and my paperwork officially went in, and I'm going to be a GA for sports media at the School of Communication. <laughs>
kicked out during the first session, but uh, we were able to get back in, so uh, it all worked out. Uh, any other announcements? Uh, if there are no other announcements, um, this meeting is adjourned at 4.38 p.m. Once again, apologies for the